All right. From Abi Dawood, Muhammad, he entered upon his wife Khadija when she was dying. And then he said to her, hey Khadija, in your way, I mean, he's making fun of her, obviously. Say hello. I mean, your wife is dying, and now it's time to say to her this. Look what he said to her. He said to her, uh, don't forget to say hello to my wives in heaven. She said to him, you married people before me? This is here. Now we are, I'm, I'm not reading. I'm telling the story. She said to him, did you marry women before me? He said, no, but Allah, he promised me. Those women in heaven, who are they? This is the book of Ibn Kathir. The book of the stories of the prophets. Ibn Kathir, very number two. Page number two, 382. Now we use Google Translation because we have no choice. And Ibn Asaka narrated that from the hadith of etc. etc. from Ibn Abbas, blah 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 blah, etc. It says that the Messenger of Allah, he said, he entered into Khadija while she was in her illness, to, to which which she died. She's dying. And he said, Oh Khadija, if you met uh, 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 if I met your, uh, you know, in your way, if I don't give you a, a trouble, say hello to my wives in heaven. See, the translation is not good. So he, she said, oh, messenger of Allah, you married before me? He said, no, but God married me, Maryam, the daughter of Amran, the mother of Jesus, and Asiya, <laughs> and Kalthum, Musa's sister. Sister, hmm. <laughs> because Muhammad was confused about who is Maryam. Hmm. Here you see a real character of a man who is obsessed of having all women in his bed. All famous women they have to go to their knee. Why Muhammad he want to marry the sister of Moses? And where is she now? Why Muhammad he want the mother of Jesus? What he have to do with the women of Pharaoh? His wife or his sister? What is the intention? The intention is that everybody belong to me, even the one who passed away. He's sick, he's mentally ill. I will pause the link for this. I will make a short one because there is Arabic and that will make it extremely impossible to post in YouTube. So I'm going to post the link for this hadith in the, in the info. Let me do it right now so we don't forget later because people, they might say to me where we can find that. So who is Muhammad? Muhammad is a perverted man. He have one target. Sex, women, money, and him after all. Everything is about him. Allah and the angels and everybody praying on Muhammad. Who is praying on Muhammad? Everybody. Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. And this is the one the Muslim they try to, to fix it. They says he Allah he pray for not to. Everyone, everything, Allah pray on Muhammad. And it's coming as a present verse or verb. And here they say is the translation: Allah he sent salat between two bracket the grass, grace. Graces, honors, blessing, everything. Allah, He have nothing to do except Muhammad. Actually, there's a hadith. It says, "If not Muhammad, Allah will not created the world." Already, I have the link for the book of Ibn Kathir about Muhammad marrying from Mary. But remember, it's in Arabic. 
in the info of this video. If you remember the hadith where it says, and this will be the final hadith I will close with, otherwise we will, and supposedly I was trying to make it short. All right. If not you, Muhammad, Allah created nothing. Who told that? Muhammad. Allah told him, he sent him Jibreel. And Jibreel, he said to him, that Allah said to me to tell you, indeed, the Prophet of Allah, look at the question, what the, what the respect of ulama, which means the scholars, and the Sharia, the Islamic law, about this hadith. If not you, nothing was created. You are the reason of every creation. So the answer is, indeed, the Prophet of Allah, Allah pray on him, is the reason for of the creation of Adam and Eve and the universe, is the reason to create the, 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 the tablet of Allah, the chair of Allah, the throne of Allah, is the reason to create the, 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 the pen, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, everything created for the sake of Muhammad. So are we getting conclusion who is Muhammad? Muhammad wanted to be God. Allah is a servant of Muhammad, not Muhammad is a servant of Allah. Why Allah he created for Muhammad? Why Allah do work for Muhammad? What is the purpose of Allah himself having a chair? Muhammad. Why Allah have a throne? Muhammad. Why Allah he created anything? Muhammad. Why all the creatures, me and you, even the deer, even a frog, even a cockroach, why is exist Muhammad? And if you are not convinced that this is all clear proof that this man is mentally ill, he is a person who tried to be God in this earth. And he was successful to be God for more than a billion human beings. If you don't see it clearly after all what we showed you, I guarantee you that you yourself need to see a shrink. Allah said to Isa, which is supposed to Jesus, what he said to him? He said to him, O oh Isa, tell the people, your people, to obey Muhammad, to obey Muhammad. Why? What about obeying Jesus? No. But Muhammad was not in the time of Jesus. How they can obey him? <laughs> Look at those stories. Even Adam, when Allah he created him, he lift up his eyes. As you see here, the Prophet of Allah said, Allah said when Adam made a mistake, commit sin, not mistake. He asked Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Adam is asking Allah for the sake of Muhammad. Allah, he said, oh Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not created him yet? Adam said, <laughs> hello, when you created me and blow into my into me the spirit, I lifted up my head and I saw written on the arsh, which means the chair, that la, there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Allah, he wrote that before he created Adam. So Adam is not created yet. Allah, he made a chair. This is the plan. I will create a man. His name is Muhammad, and I will spend my eternity serving him. Starting from my chair, I will write his name in my chair. There's no God but Allah, and there is no prophet but Muhammad. His name is next to Allah. Muhammad, he associates his name with God. And here we arrive to his name. Muhammad means the praised one, which means God. For only God to be praised. When you praise a man, you are pagan, unless this man is God in earth. Praise one, the praised one. There's no praise two, there's no praise three.
there's the praise one Muhammad Muhammad is not even a name it is a title so who is Muhammad if any Muslim can show me one verse in the Quran it show us who is Muhammad where he was born what his father name who was his mother in which year which tribe he is born of it is nothing Muhammad is another name of a previous cult leader his name Manny I know many of you never heard of him but you will find that all the stories of Muhammad is a stolen and coming from Manny Manny he claimed to be Christ Manny he claimed to be the praised one Manny he was successful and his religion grew in the Middle East and hundreds of thousands believe in him at that time hundreds of thousands like saying millions Manny if we read the stories about Manny we will find tons of things almost it is copy paste of Muhammad and Manny is exist way before Muhammad so we cannot say that Manny is copying Muhammad so I will not be surprised if one day we found that Muhammad was nothing but Manny and they copy his story and they make it about a fiction man his name is Muhammad it can be true it can be false it can be theory it can be what it can be but we cannot deny one thing that there's a lot of his stories taken from Manny placed on a guy his name is Muhammad who we do not know who's he and if the Muslim they want to say to us we have the books of hadith do you accept the books of hadith to be legitimate or you pick up your cherries they pick up their cherries and why Allah in the Quran he says who is Jesus he's son of Mary who is Miriam she is the son of Amran but he will not say to us who is Muhammad Muhammad actually in the Quran He have nothing to do with mankind. You see, in, in, in the book of John, Jesus said, I am from above. And Muhammad, he tried to be the one from above. If you go to chapter 33, verse number 40, it says, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men but he is Allah messenger he's a different creature he is not from this earth he have nothing to do with your men he was not the father of any of you he is a messenger of God. He is from above. Muhammad, he worshipped himself. Regardless if he believed that he is God or not, but he is acting as one. And when the second you believe in him, you became subdued and a slave of Muhammad, not a slave of Allah. Which one is more important? Obeying Allah or obeying Muhammad? Muhammad. The Quran says something, Muhammad says the opposite. We follow Muhammad. Every single verse, Muhammad, he make it clear that the one who obey me he obey Allah.
But Muslims, isn't it Muhammad a sinner? And he commits sin? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, may Allah forgive to you your sin to come and the sin in the past? Hmm? Open license for sin. So how we can obey a person who is a sinner? And how Muhammad, he made such a mistake, saying that Allah may forgive his sin for the past and the one to come. If Allah is talking, Allah is saying to Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. It's a stupid statement, Muhammad trying to wash himself because people, they knew he's a fraud. They knew his history. It's like a guy who lived in the town, everybody he knew he's a loser. And then suddenly he claimed to be the best. So what he would say? May Allah forgive your sin in the past and the one to come. So he knew he's a sinner bad person in the past and bad person in the future so he said Allah told me Allah may forgive your sin if Allah is talking how Allah may forgive your sin obviously this is a prayer Muhammad is saying that I am Allah speaking to Allah Allah is saying to Allah which is me that Allah may forgive your sin in the one in the past and the one to come but then how we can obey a person, how we can believe that by obeying a person who commits sin in the past and in the future, we obey Allah. Is obeying a sinner, is obeying Allah? Yes, for Muhammad is Allah. The whole purpose of Muhammad is to have a privilege. That is the privilege of God. The sexual God, the God who love money. So obeying Muhammad, whoever obey the messenger is obeying Allah. Muhammad made it clear that he is Allah. You better be subdued to me. And that is the devil. Thank you for watching. Feel free to download the video and we, did, we disable the chat supposed it will make the video shorter but as you see mission is impossible to paint a paint without I mean you want to make an image and full image and it's impossible to make it short not for me because information they will come from everywhere and I find that you have to add this and I have to add that so you can understand better that is Muhammad, the one you follow. He is your God. Stop fooling yourself. The man of the privilege. And his privilege is uh, uh, the book of Ibn al-Arabi, or Ibn al-Arabi, he said, that the Prophet have 16 privilege. Almost 10 of them is about money and sex. One of them is, if, um, if, uh, if Muhammad, he, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Is what? Her husband must divorce her. For sure, why not? If the angels, if the believers, if Allah, if everybody is a praying in Muhammad, Muhammad is the center of the universe. Allah created everything for Muhammad. Not a single thing in this earth isn't created for Muhammad. So what is left? What is left is to become a slave. Even women who pass away before Muhammad, even women, just because they are well-known, famous women, this man, he is sick, he wants to have them, even if they are dead. The women of the Pharaoh, the sister of Musa, the mother of Jesus. If Muhammad exists now, you can add long list of names to his wish. So I will leave the decision for you. And I challenge the Muslims to post comment have to do with the topic. Because what they do and watch what I will say, Jesus is not God. We're not talking about Jesus. 
Where in the Bible it says Jesus is God? Where Jesus says God worship me? We're not talking about Jesus. So they cannot answer. I changed the Muslim as an example to tell me why Allah He promised Muhammad to marry him, the mother of Jesus. The sister of Moses or the wife of the Pharaoh. Why? Give me a reason. Have sex or to insult Jesus. The Muslim they say to us, Muhammad, he respect Jesus. Do you respect Jesus by sleeping with his mother? Is Muhammad trying to establish a family? What is the purpose of this? The purpose is a sick person who believe he have a privilege and all women have to sleep with him. Famous women, important women. He want to strip those men from their honor. I am going to sleep with your sister. I'm going to sleep with your mother. I'm going to sleep with your wife. For I am Muhammad the rapist. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy learning. Copy the video, download it, share it, because we don't keep it as you know. God bless you. And don't forget to leave your comment, especially Muslims who comment about nothing have to do with the topic, as usual. And by the way, you will see Muslims saying, why you don't dare to debate this guy and this guy? It is you who don't dare. Where are you? None of you can debate about anything. You are a person who follow the person who he claimed that everything created for him. You are just a software programmed by Allah to be a tool in the hand of Muhammad. In other way, what the difference between you and anything is programmed? Nothing. The reason for existence of you is to worship Muhammad. The reason for existence of your God is Muhammad. What if there's no Muhammad? What Allah will do? All the work Allah did for Muhammad. So if there is no Muhammad, there's no Allah. I mean, how in the world this has become a religion? How in the world anyone can believe in such a fraud? Name one thing about Muhammad is right. Nothing. If his eyes fall into your wife, the man he have to divorce his wife so the prophet can have her immediately. Cult leaders never change. All of them are the same. They want your money, sex, and power. And if you are a fool, you are a fool. And if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Thank you very much. Take care.